Dear Alcohol, we have been in a relationship since I was 15 years old. I became friendly with you in my wine coolers at that first high school like party, and that ride continued until 2005 when I finally realized I'd rather be in a relationship with you than take care of my loving king of a husband, George. He loved me dearly. George showed me the world and a life of great experiences, but you always came along. When George needed me, I was not emotionally available. Once again, you were stronger, and any hope of recovery took a back seat and our life turned upside down. Since I was his manager, we had nothing but things. We lost his house that he'd had since 1973. I let this happen because you were a daily presence in my life. I let everything go. The business, the house, bills, financially we were a mess. George died of depression. I was so dependent by this time. I tried AA since my self-respect, creativity, happiness, intelligence, but worse than that, I stopped loving myself. So now, two months after George's death, I meet a wonderful man named Clint, and we start a new relationship, thinking we could just rule the world because you told us we could. Unfortunately, you took us both down. We enabled each other, and we became toxic. But we loved each other enough to get sober and leave you behind for one year, but relapsed, but then again for three years. We did this together, and we decided to go our separate ways until you brought us back together in February of 2015. Now we're very happy with new lives, jobs, health, sobriety, security, but here you come again and then watch the things I love get destroyed. Creativity, health, worst of all, my precious Clint. He was a very special man. I will be in awe of him forever. You took him tragically. It's amazing how you can take the men in my life away. My father at 23, George at 40, and now Clint at 50. My whole adult life, you took my ability to take care of myself and put me to disadvantage. Losing people and the reality of it does make one more aware of their strengths and weaknesses. On one hand, you can get through it with a lot of help from God asking for courage and peace, but the hard one is survivor's guilt and trying to make sense of it all. I now have forgiven myself, learning to love myself and realized I can do this. I am not alone and my happiness matters. Learn not to be angry, it's in God's hands. There are many lessons to be learned with my new sober life and mind. Waking up not regretting anymore. Take a hike alcohol. I will deal with my decisions that I have made throughout my crazy life, but I am a stronger person and I will continue this lovely journey called life with all the beautiful guardian angels in heaven watching over me. I now believe without you in my life, I will grow each day with wisdom to know the difference and accept the things I cannot change. Best of all, loving myself and never depend on you again. Bye Felicia. Pam. <laughs>